now let me do that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you your boy Cousin Stays, man, putting on for Boston, but you already knew that, man. Everything that I do is Boston, you know what I'm saying? Like, so of course it's gonna be my music, man. This is, this is what I know, you know, this is home. This is, this is what I love is, so. Everything, you know, from my, my bars, to my, my hooks, to my, when I'm thinking of writing a song, I'm thinking from a Boston perspective, you know, a whole bunch of guys out here doing their thing with this music thing, so it's, it's, it's growing, you know what I mean? It's, and there's a lot of underground artists that people don't know about, too, that's doing their thing, too, and it's, it's dope, man. It's dope to see in, like, fashion. A lot of people are popping up with their own brands, their own like designs and everything that they're doing too. So that's dope, man. You know, uh, I don't know. Uh, I couldn't really tell you if I uh, fit in somewhere. I don't really try to fit in with, with anything. I just gotta do what I do, you know. Two weeks before I met up with Kevin Lyles, Leo Cohen called my phone. Wow. Yeah, he called my phone. He woke me up. Like, yeah, it's disgusting. I'm like, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, this is Leo coming. Uh, your music got a little in my office today, so I'd love to go meet with you, whatever. Uh, and you know, we were just talking back and forth, getting the dates right. And, uh, and then I went out to uh, Leo Cohen's house to talk about uh, what I've been doing and everything, what my plans are. And, and Kevin Lyle showed up to the meeting. He didn't even have to come, you know what I'm saying? But he showed up and he, he showed mad love. Like, he really rocks with what I'm doing, he really rocks with like the movement. And he likes how we're doing things, you know, he gave me a couple pointers on where I could uh, change or better my music. Alright, it was kind of weird uh, how it happened, so, I don't know if you guys know, like, um, who Spooky Black is, but he's like, he's just popping, like, young R&B, I, I guess he's an R&B artist, he does, like, his own wave, I can't really call it R&B, because it's not that, but he sings and he does his own wave, and he's a young guy, and he's, like, popping on the internet, and, um, he reblogged it like the, like the second day it came out, and he had like 40, 50 thousand followers on his um, on his SoundCloud. So that gave it the first jump. And then the next week, ASAP Bari hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And then I kicked it with him like that next week. You know what I'm saying? And then it, and then just a bunch of different cosigns, dog. That like and you just never really like like the people that you look up to and they, they fuck with your shit is just dope, man. It's just like it's a, it's a breath of fresh air, dog.